Hey guys, thanks for joining. So in this video, we're gonna go over the ACP snooping and I've organized this video into multiple sections. So if you're already familiar with the section, feel free to skip it. All right, so let's start with why the ACP snooping, why we need to configure this. The ACP snooping is a security feature designed to prevent rock the HCP servers, okay? It plays a crucial role in preventing the HCP spoofing, flooding, man-in-the-middle attacks. Also, just for example, let's say a user just place an access point on your network or any device that's providing the HCP, you know, that could cause a ton of problems and bring the network down. So the HCP snooping will prevent that. And most importantly, setting the HCP snooping is really easy if you configure it only on the access layer. All right, so I would like to go into the theoretical part of the ACP snooping, how it works, what's happening to the packet along the way. But before I do that, you need to be familiar with the DHCP four-way handshake. In this diagram, we have a DHCP server connected to a switch. When a host connects to the network, it initiates the DHCP process by sending a discover packet, which is a broadcast, and the switch will send that out all interfaces. Next, the server responds with the DHCP offer packet providing the host with an IP, gateway, DNS, settings, and all the other necessary configuration. Following the DHCP offer, the host sends a DHCP request to the server, indicating it's accepting the offered IP address. This is also a broadcast. This is done to inform other servers about the IP, which will prevent conflicts. Finally, the server sends a DHCP acknowledge packet to the host, confirming the successful assignment of the IP address and completing the DHCP handshake. You could also use the acronym DORA to memorize the four steps. All right, so now let's start explaining how the ACP snooping work on the packet level. This is very theoretical. If you're not interested, just skip to the next section. So whenever you configure the ACP snooping, the switch will start by monitoring all the ACP traffic, especially on the untrusted port. So for instance, it will ignore all the offer, as I said, because those should be sent from the server, the offer and acknowledgement packet that are coming from untrusted ports. It will ignore them, drop them. It will also will verify the source MAC address of the, of the user with the DHCP client hardware address, checking that those two are matching. Also, the switch will drop any packet that are coming in with the option 82 configured. I'll explain later what's this, what is the option 82. But also, so remember, if you want to configure the ACP snooping on your aggregate switches, distribution core and so on, you need to allow uh, the option 82 on untrusted ports. So, okay, now explaining what is the option 82. So whenever the switch receive a discover packet on an untrusted port, it will add to it uh, the option 82, all right? Before forwarding it to the trusted port. So the option 82 includes the remote ID, which is usually by default the switch MAC address, and the circuit ID, which contain the VLAN of the user and the port where the user is connected. So um, you could actually modify those two, and I'll show you how later in the video. If your DCP server does not handle the option 82, or uh, you could just disable this feature too. But this will help the DHCP server to, you could put more security restrictions, impose some uh, restrictions or number of IPs. It gives the DHCP server more visibility what's happening on the network. Also, the DHCP snooping can help with uh, rate limiting, like you could allow a number of the DHCP requests to be sent from a particular interface. This prevents the DHCP flooding. All right, so let's take a look here. So you could see here that we have the DHCP uh, four-way handshake. So I just powered on the switch and connected the access point to it. You could see we have a discover, offer, request, and acknowledgement. And like the switch isn't doing anything, it's just VLAN one, and I do have a spam running. All right, so show monitor session one. You could see it here. And you could see just the packets here. There's no even option 82 is not being added because the DCP binding is not uh, configured. Now we're gonna configure the DCP binding. I'm gonna configure it first. You need to configure it globally. 
So we're enabling it. Then we need to enable it on uh, per VLAN. All right. So we have everything on VLAN one. So we're gonna enable it on VLAN one. All right. So now we're gonna take a look what was gonna happen when we configure that. And uh, let's see. So let's go. I have the device on interface eleven. So let's shut it down. And sorry for the noise, guys. The switch is right next to me. And then we do a no shot. So in the meantime, just let's take a look at the statistics, all right? So I did the ACP snooping. So this will show you what's configured, all right? What are the VLANs that enable uh, the option 82 that's gonna be added to the device requesting an IP, like what's the circuit ID format, what's the remote ID, and if option 82 is allowed. Let's take a look at the statistics also. So I did the ACP snooping statistics. So you could see the number of drop packet and the number of drop packet on untrusted port, right? So now let's configure the uplink as uh, trusted. And you could see uh, the statistics directly, like you could see that the packet has uh, been forwarded. Let's take a look at here. So you see like discover, offer, request, acknowledgement. So if you look at the packet also here, we actually have the option now 82 has been added. And you could see here, this is the circuit ID, which gonna define the VLAN and the, the port that this, uh, the access point is connected on it. And this is 108, uh, sorry, 10B, which is 11. And uh, this is the MAC address of the switch. And you could find the MAC address, as I said before, under the show IP, the ACP snooping, it will appear here. All right, so as you could see, we have the option uh, 82. And as I said, this is gonna be the VLAN, which is VLAN one, and this is the port that's connected to it. So if we move this to a different port, and you could see we moved it to port 15. And let's take a look. And you see the DCB snooping binding table has been updated. And you could see here from the circuit ID, it's now 10F, okay? This is the discover packet. Here it was 10B. Okay. Don't forget to like this video, guys. And if you're interested in this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel. So we could also configure those statically. So um, let's start by the uh, remote ID. So let's configure the remote ID. The remote ID is the MAC address of the switch. As I said, you could configure it to be something else. You could put a particular string that you want or you could configure it with the host name of the switch so you could put whatever you want as a, a string id uh, but like let's just do the host name all right this is the host name and at the same time let's go under the interface and change the uh, circuit id right so if we do here uh, IP, DCP, snooping, uh, information, option, VLAN, so VLAN 1, information, option, format type, circuit ID, and so we could override the whole thing, and or you could do just the user defined one, so string, let's do... Uh, I don't know. So three, three, three. All right, and let's do shut. So the port went down. Uh, do no shut. All right, so let's take a look at it here. This is the discover packet, and as you could see, uh, the circuit ID has been changed. Remote ID is changed to switch, and you could see here three, three, three. All right, you could see it. All right, so now we could also configure rate limiting on the, actually on all ports you configure, you could configure rate limiting. So it's here, one slash zero slash 27, IP, DACP, snooping, um, limit, rate, and this is the uplink, so let's say 1000 or 100, I don't know, depends on your network. And let's configure it on the, the port here I don't know we don't need more than five per second let's say all 
and you could see here it, the rate limit shows and you have uh, those extra information and also if you want to disable the option 82 so like you just want to validate that the uh, um, the ACP requests are coming from the a trusted port. You just do no ID the ACP snooping information option. Okay, so that's all you have to do. And if you go under interface gig slash zero slash fifteen shot no shot. And if you look here. So you could see like uh, the option 82 is disabled okay and you see here the option 82 doesn't exist anymore and what else oh and if you want to configure the acp snooping on your distribution or cores or whatever on a an aggregate switch if the acp discover packet has a the option 82 this the upstream switch will drop it so to allow that yeah um, as I said, no IP the ACP or oh, actually IP the ACP snooping information option and allow untrusted. Okay, we don't need it here, but it doesn't matter. It's it's actually not recommended to have it on the access layer, just the aggregate layer. So guys, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And uh, thank you. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Bye.